How many honks you got? Uh, I don't know. Because you're showing them the wrong side. It, it depends. I mean, there you go. <laughs> Here we are at the end of the summer camp here in Ocala, Florida, and we wanted to bring the boys out, the young men, to see a TFP campaign. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour What were we campaigning against? Um, socialism. Did you get a lot of pushback? Well, yes. Yeah, we got a few people. I uh -huh. laugh. Angry. <laughs> I got cursed out and screamed at. Really? Did that bother you? No. Yeah. I just prayed You're for the like person. I... Thank you. So what's your method for handing out these flyers? You just wait in here? Wait here till the red light comes and then I see if anyone wants a flyer. You make them roll down their window? Uh, I just kind of walk down the street. And Thank you. I did see one person uh, arguing with Mr. Coffee. He's actually pro-life, right up to birth. But then, no, what, what after, is, bir after birth. After birth, 90 days. After 90 birth. days after birth. Yeah. But then he, he turns to infanticide. You can't kill a baby preterm because it's that's you're killing a human life. Yeah. But if you kill it afterwards, it's like not the same. So if you do like a humane society for babies, you get like 90 days. There's hundreds of millions of people that want to adopt somebody because they're incapable of having a baby on their own. How did this come up? Because we were, like, the campaign's like, about no, socialism. No, How does it relate to socialism though? Socialism is like the fire department. Okay. But how did abortion come up? It the is linked. It is it linked. Is, because yeah. when the country goes towards socialism, it's it's total liberalism. So whatever you want to do. The only word I heard the guy say was like, "Okay, I agree with you, but I'm not on your side." Yeah, I'm on your side, but I don't agree. With you. That doesn't make any sense. My name is uh, Domenico, and, and uh, I am 11. My name is Maximilian. I am 12. Juan Francisco Mert. I live in Floral City. My name is Michael Emke. I'm from Wachula, Florida. For you, what part of the camp was the highlight? I like the talks. They're really yeah. good. Oh, the talks are your favorite part? For me, it would be uh, the talks. Really? They're very engaging. It's not just a lecture mm -hmm. to the kids. You're interacting with the kids and you're keeping their interest the whole time. I saw that you were writing down a bunch of different things during the talks. I just marked down the bullet points, like the important stuff. Of course, the whole entire talk is important. It's good to see that you're taking the talk seriously. So much history that you don't learn in the schools, that the Catholic history that just isn't taught anymore and we're losing it. Mm -hmm. So it's great to hear somebody spreading it. Oh, how about the play with Andreas Hoffer? That, oh, that was, was good. Fun. That, was, that good. was good. What was the best part? Um, when Probably when they shot Andreas yeah. Hoffer. <laughs> what pathetic shots you are! Four years after his unjust execution, Tyrol regained its independence, and to this day, his name is repeated with awe, respect, and admiration. Did Napoleon show up in the play? Yeah, if he yes. does. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ted was Napoleon. Why did Napoleon hate Andreas Hoffer? Because he was Catholic. I see. Cut their Christmas midnight mass. I really like that very much. So whose team won the obstacle course? Red team. Red team. Jim What's the hardest obstacle? That. That. Did 
Did you fall in? I think you both fell in, right? I fell in, but he was he was doing backflips in the water. I wasn't doing backflips. <laughs> ultimate test is if you can bend it and touch it here, but it's a Texan made sword. Wow. I cut too low. I, cut too low so. I don't remember that. <laughs> wow, that's don't terrible. remember that being there. I heard you got 11 cuts. Yep. 11. <laughs> that's unheard of on a jug. Did you ever cut jugs before? No, that's the first time. That, that is exceptional. <laughs> So fights were fun. The only thing that it wasn't fun is like <laughs> losing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you went with sword and dagger. Sword, sword and dagger. I, don't just, think I just went sword. I come in one. here and I can go from the side. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's actually a real style. Yes, sir. Long sword. Two-handed. That's almost as long as you are. Oh, okay, it's about about waist Half height. Set. Yeah. I think I got it. Yeah, yeah. Was... Nick, Gabriel, Kristoff. We'll all be going for the flag. Get him, get him! Oh, we got him! I wasn't using the sword, I was using the bow. Nick, come back! Oh. Get him, get him, come! Oh, got him! Sorry! Wow, he's swinging. Alright, that's a win! Yeah! So tonight they're playing their favorite game, which is Prison Break. So you have two groups, you have the cops and you have the prisoners, mm -hmm. and the prisoners have to go and hide. You should have hid somewhere obvious and let them come after us. Shoot, they're gonna hear you. And then the, the cops will come out, mm -hmm. and if the prisoners are not hiding very well, the cops will chase them. So how many did you catch? Uh, you're my first one. That makes me feel great. <laughs> I think there were two prisoners left out yeah. and I was able to sneak around the building and just slip in. <laughs> yeah, you saved the day. Prison yeah! We are celebrating this evening in honor of the decimation of the Roe versus Wade decision. So champagne for the adults and root beer floats for the boys. How'd they taste? They were awesome. To life! To life! Hey! Nice. Wow! Well, I would say about this camp, that there's order in this camp and that everyone comes together and no one's to, against each other during the day. Everybody together as like a crusader army were dependent on each other. One of the boys said that his favorite part was the camaraderie. Yeah, I can see that. And I appreciate that the dads get to participate as well because like I said, the camaraderie with the boys, between the boys and the fathers and especially between myself and my son. It's just, it's good to see. Everything I saw seemed to me that it just, it helped to form a strong Catholic young man. And the unexpected benefit is for myself as well, see, getting a lot of graces and seeing, I got a lot of, out of it as well. That helps me to be stronger and maybe be a better father and a better Catholic. If you guys want to come to this camp, it's worth it. It's very fun. Also, you get to meet a lot of new people and that's, that's good. Is there anything else you'd like to say for the parents that are sending their sons to the summer camp? Just that if you're wavering or you're, if, you, if it's a possibility, make it happen. Youth was not made for pleasure, but for Life on earth, free from vice. Have a good life, yeah.